Take a look at this tank. The Sherman Firefly. I built this around August of 2022, and it took a few days. What do you think about it? Do you think it's good? Or well built, perhaps? The best tank you've ever seen? Wrong. This tank is mid. Now, take a look at this tank. The M48 Patton. Such complicated shapes, barely a single flat surface. Beautiful tracks, amazing decorations, truly a well-built tank. This thing got Boat of the Week. Wait. Wait, this thing got Boat of the Week? Holy crap, it did! Alright, I mean the very first month of a tank a month, and I already got Boat of the Week. I mean, thanks to everyone who voted for this, I did not expect to get Boat of the Week this soon into tank a month. Anyways though, back to the video. So, this Firefly is clearly pretty bad, especially compared to many of my other tanks. It just doesn't have much detail to it, nothing stands out, it's just so plain and boring. But we're not gonna let that slide. We're gonna upgrade this thing. We're gonna bring it from a boring 5 out of 10 to a solid 9 out of 10 in just 5 simple steps, which you can also use on your tanks. Step 1. Detailed road wheels and tracks. This step involves a lot of duplicating the same thing over and over, as well as building circles. If you do not know how to build circles, I recommend you find out, because it is very important. First of all, build the road wheels, as well as the sprocket, return rollers, and any other wheels in the track area. Then, duplicate as many of them as you need and move them into place. Now, build a singular track link. Yeah, that's it. Just one. Then, you just need to duplicate that around all the wheels you've built, and congratulations, you have detailed tracks. Just look at the difference that makes, compared to the garbage, boring, plain circles on the old version. Step 2. Spare Tracks This one is pretty simple. You just take a few of the track links on your tank, and just kinda slap them all around the hole and turret. This adds a lot of detail, and is a great trick if you ever have an empty area on your tank and you don't have anything to put up there. Just make sure you don't overdo it, because if you do, it will not only look bad, but take up too much space for any other details. You can put the spare tracks pretty much anywhere on the turret, but if you're placing spare tracks on the hole, try to keep them away from the back of it, because it just doesn't really make sense to have them there. Step 3. Decals. Decals are basically drawings, insignia, or pictures on your tank. They are decorations that aren't three-dimensional. For my tank, I added a camouflage pattern on the barrel. Historically, German tankers would try to target the Sherman with the bigger cannon first, because they posed a greater danger to them. In an effort to counter this, a camouflage pattern was designed for the barrel, which made it look like the short 75mm cannon from afar. I also added some tally marks to the barrel. Then, I added some insignia on the front and back of the hole, which I took from a tank I built previously, as well as the 4th tank battalion and blue arrows flags on the radio box, which were also taken from another tank I built before. If you're looking for ideas for insignia to use, you could create your country's flag, or something like a star for American or Soviet vehicles, or an iron cross for German stuff, etc. Step 4. Equipment. This one is pretty good because you can be very creative with it. Just build whatever you want really and put it around the tank. Obviously don't make anything ridiculous, just make sure the equipment you make looks fitting. For my tank, I took four pieces of equipment which I had already built previously. A jerry can, a 50 cal ammo box, an equipment bag, and a British army helmet. I then put them mostly around the back area of the tank, with the equipment bags and helmets on the turret, and the jerry cans and ammo boxes on the engine deck. I also put rope around the jerry cans just to make them look more realistic. Step 5. External Guns On my old Firefly, I already had a 50 count mounted on the commander's hatch, but I thought I could add some more stuff. I took a Bren gun I built previously and built a mount for it on the loader's hatch, as well as some extra mags for it on the turret roof. I also took a Lee Enfield rifle and strapped it to the side of the turret. I recommend dedicating some time to building these small arms, as it really pays off, plus you can make some working mounts for them, which can actually shoot. I'll have a video in the description for that. 
And now, we have finished the five steps. We have successfully brought this tank from a 5 out of 10 to a solid 9 out of 10. In just about a day or two of work. I would even say we brought it up to Hall of Fame standard, but I won't be submitting it because I don't have much time to build a background for it. Which, these days, is pretty much required for Hall of Fame. I hope you guys find this video useful and are able to upgrade your tanks even further using it. Anyways, that's all I got to say, thanks for watching and see y'all later. Be sure to check out these videos you see here if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, see ya.